Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, we gather today to celebrate the opening of the Lunar New Year for this year of 2022, the Year of the Tiger. The readings that have been chosen are readings that center us on what the new year should mean for us who are people of faith. They remind us of the role of God in creation and the special place of the word of God in that act of creation. As we gather at this mass that will be taped, we join with all the members of our parish community celebrating the new year on this day, praying that the grace and peace of Christ reign in their homes and good health through the new year. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in the Christ. highest and on and earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. amen. Let us pray. All-powerful and ever-living God, source of all life, we thank you for the blessings you have bestowed on us. We ask that you deepen our faith and strengthen us to follow the path of righteousness and to joyfully serve you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the birds of the air, and the cattle, 
and over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in His image. In the image of God, He created him. Male and female, He created them. God blessed them, saying, "Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth." God also said, "See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth." And every tree that has seed bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything He had made, and He found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good; the Lord is kindness endures for ever. And his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hallelujah! 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 The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. He enabled those who accepted Him to become children of God. Hallelujah! 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I first 
arrived in Hong Kong in 2015. It was already towards the end of the year. And so the first lunar year, new year, that I celebrated would be in 2016. And I had to spend a lot of time studying what this was because I had never been in a country where we celebrated the Lunar New Year or the Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival. These were all new things. And I came to know that the Lunar New Year is, in Asia, the greatest celebration in almost every country. Every country has even a different name for it. And different lengths of time. Some of the celebrations are three days, five days. We, at that time, this is going back in my memory, in Hong Kong, it was 15, 16 days, which was great. Now it's none. We've gone a real gamut in, the, in a matter of a few years. It is a widely held celebration that comes at the end of winter and the beginning of springtime, a time when the earth brings forth beautiful new flowers and hope of new harvests and new life. In my first year, I tried to learn the history of the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year. And I saw its roots go way, way, way back to an exorcistic purification ritual called Big Nuo, whose function was to dispel illness in the Jin state, not the Jin dynasty, it eventually became that, but in the Jin state. And as the Jin dynasty then unified all of China, this ritual, this purification rite, spread and was accompanied by a thorough, if you will, spring cleaning of homes before the Lunar New Year. Later on, and this is going into the third century, during the Han Dynasty, there is an ancient text that I found quoted in a few places, and now I'm going to get myself in trouble trying to pronounce the name of the writer, but it's Xu Shi. He was a, an agronomist, and he writes about this spring celebration in this way. The starting day of the first month is called Zhengri. I bring my wife and children to worship ancestors and commemorate my father. Later in the same text, he writes, children, wife, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren all serve pepper wine to their parents. Then they make a toast and wish their parents good health it's a thriving view. That was his brief description. And people also, from what he said, went from their family units to their neighbors and to the heads of the village to offer these toasts for everyone wishing everyone else good health, success, happiness. There were even special greetings for the elderly, wishing them long life. I'm not sure what the pepper wine was. I've tried to find out, but whatever, it must have been very helpful. From this ancient text, and this text, again, goes to the third century, we see that at the heart of these Lunar New Year celebrations are themes, a mixture of themes. Thanksgiving, preparation, purification or cleaning, and the family. For us, gathering each year at this time, the celebrations are marked by uh, a story I will tell. In January of 2016, I started seeing the decorations going up in the parish and the chopping down or moving of trees into the church 
And I thought these red envelopes, I didn't even know what they were. I just thought they were like Christmas balls decorating a tree. And Father Lee came up to me and said, if you really want to experience Chinese New Year, go to Victoria Park. I didn't even know where Victoria Park was, but he gave me directions on how to walk there. And I said, well, what am I going to do there? He said, you will experience how we celebrate the Lunar New Year. I hate him. <laughs> I went there, and I must have been with half of China, walking, they had arrows to point which way to walk in these very narrow lanes between all the stalls of flowers. And I could tell the difference between Cantonese and Mandarin, and it seemed that the arrows meant a different thing in Mandarin from Cantonese because I kept bumping into people. And you couldn't move more than this fast that I'm walking now. Literally, I was an hour and a half trying to get out of Victoria Park successfully. There was no such thing as social distancing. I was closer to people than I ever wanted to be. And yet, I came out knowing a lot of new things. I have never seen so many flowers, even having experienced the flower markets of the Netherlands, there are nothing compared to Victoria Park was. I began to realize those over there are not edible. <laughs> I, I actually thought the little mandarin trees were edible. I learned they're not. Uh, we don't have this year here, the kumquats. I couldn't figure out what they were. I know what a narcissus is and how fragrant it is, one of the most fragrant flowers around. All of these, the bulbs, the kumquat plants, the profusion of oranges and mandarins, tangerines, all of these are a celebration through symbolism of life, abundance, joy, happiness so that everyone celebrating will feel these same emotions, goodness and peace. The first reading chosen for the Lunar New Year Mass recalls creation because at its heart, the Lunar New Year is a celebration of creation, of spring, of all that is coming and is promised. And by using the, the opening of Genesis, we see God creating all that we see. Everything I pointed to is created by God. And he found it very good. The one expression on each day of creation ends with, and he found it very good. Every part of creation, including us, we were the last. And so we have in the final creation of God, the human race. Created, not just created, but created in his image. It makes us blessed indeed. He created all out of love. And we are the image of God's love. The likeness of God's love. The gospel chosen, it's interesting that it's the gospel chosen also for the new year in civil time. It's also the first gospel, the, the last gospel on Christmas Day, the prologue of St. John. Why? Because it goes back to creation. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning. St. John reaches back to the dawn of time and creation and places the Son of God, the Word, the light to the world at that moment. And we are told that all that came to be had life in him, and that life was the light of the world. Therefore, to the ancient meanings given to the celebrations of the Lunar New Year, our scriptures and tradition, if you would, will christen it or give it a new or a deeper or a more profound meaning based on our faith. 
based on the narratives of scripture and especially the gospels. So that we see, we experience, and we interpret all of the celebrations of the new, new Lunar New Year for us in the light of the Word. The Word that brings life. The Word that is the light to the world. It actually is a lens through which we see all of this. Therefore, to the ancient meanings given to the celebrations of the new year, we now christen these meanings. Looking back over my own years serving the church here in Hong Kong, I have come to really appreciate and look forward to the Lunar New Year. And aside from learning never to go to Victoria Park again, I did pass on that tradition. When my youngest priests in Marinol came to Hong Kong in 2017, I told them in 2018, part of their orientation to Hong Kong was they would have to go to Victoria Park for three hours. And they said, why? And I said, well, just go, because you have to experience it. This is kind of, if Father Lee could do that to me, I felt I can do it to them. It was justified. They weren't happy. But they came out with another, the same experience of the flower displays, the frantic shopping for special gifts, the discovery of the custom of the red pocket, the red envelope, and banquets. Banquets with many elaborate dishes, foods that I never imagined I would ever eat. I made one mistake of sitting next to a surgeon at one meal who they placed him next to me because he spoke English. Big error. I was taught as a missionary, it's best you never ask what is it and don't just, just act surprised. And we were sitting down at Poon Choi and I wish I never knew what was in it. And he unfortunately described every layer very elaborately as I was getting sicker and sicker. However, I remember all of the joy of that. My first year here, we would have a celebration of about 15 to 20 tables in the Harish Hall, everyone around a pot of Poon Choi. That's how I was introduced to it, especially seeing the legs coming out of whatever was underneath. And it was a wonderful experience of family, of friendship, of communion, sitting around these pots that were bubbling hot to celebrate the new year as a family. And then that were followed in our parish tradition by the lion dances, the games, the large roast pork, everyone in the parish dressed in colorful new year jackets, scarves, vests, hats. I learned where you buy them all in Mong Kok. I became a very um, frequent guest there. Uh, in this one little marketplace that I, it's the only place in Mong Kok I've ever gone on my own free will. And you learned the, the shouts of children. I was introduced to that wonderful, famous song that begins with your hands clasped together and bowing and singing Gonchi 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 Nia. It's about the only thing I know and I found out it's not Cantonese. <laughs> so, for the last three years, however, our experience of the Lunar New Year has radically changed. As we have been struggling to celebrate good fortune, prosperity, and health in the midst of a pandemic. Unable to travel as we often did, the New Year was the largest migration of human beings at one time in the whole world because you have the entire Asia continent traveling. Everyone traveled. Our housekeeping staff all left. We were left on our own. Everyone left. 
I was once stuck in Taoyuan Airport in the middle of a new year, something I never want again. You could, it was almost like going through Victoria Park. You couldn't move on the security lines. So many people were going to and coming out of Taiwan. And everyone wanted to be with their family, going through great efforts to be at their traditional home with their grandparents. But now, that travel is blocked. We are prevented from gathering at restaurants in larger groups than four people, and now not even at night, only in the day. This year, prices have soared. Products are hard to find. And the joyful sounds of multi-generational families sitting around a large table covered with dozens and dozens of steaming dishes, accompanied by the chatter of happy voices. For many of us, this is a memory. But if we men and women of faith can tap the wellspring of grace that has been given to us and seek out new and creative ways to celebrate the blessings of the Lunar New Year in the midst of strict social distancing and threats of a pandemic, at the heart is, as much as possible, a task of reaching out to our closest family members, those who we can meet, and more importantly, those who for health and safety reasons we cannot meet. One of the, I thought of this a few days ago, probably the only time I will ever praise iPhones and other means of social media, at least we can have visual contact with them. Everyone from grandparents down to grandchildren can operate an iPhone or a Zoom call or some other means where you can at least be at the table together. It is difficult, I admit. It's not the same. But at least they can feel close to you as you feel close to them. We are blessed to live in an age where Video chats are possible to bring together families separated as we are by the current situation. And so, as we gather on this new year with whomever we can gather, whether it is a table set for two or 20, know that the word is part of our family gatherings. Christ is there with us. Celebrate his presence by having a special grace or blessing said, such as the blessing, this is like an advertisement, the blessing we gave to everyone at Christmas in the special blessing we prepared. Use that as a way of expressing grace and thanks. Above all, may this new year bring to each of us strength, vitality, life, happiness, and above all, good health and much grace. Gong Hei Fa Choi. Amen. Let us now stand and offer our prayers on this day. My brothers and sisters, on this celebration of the new Lunar New Year, the goodness of God's creation, the selfless love of Christ our Redeemer, and the spirit of God's love in our midst fill us with joy and wonder. Confident of God's loving presence among us, let us pray now as one family. For the Church, that we may continue to experience in our life's renewal of faith and commitment to building up the kingdom of God to imitate Jesus, the true light that has come into the world. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the nations and peoples of the world, that God's spirit of peace and harmony may govern all human affairs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For our families, that the joy of this celebration of family unity and love built on the foundation of gospel virtues and may be a support and encouragement for each of us throughout the new year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Let us pray for the poor and needy, the powerless and dis the dispossessed, the sick and infirm, the lonely and forgotten, that through our compassionate help and active support, God will recreate their lives in new hope and purpose. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially in this last year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of infinite mercy, Lord of peace, hear the prayers we present to you on this first day of the Lunar New Year. Open our hearts to the promise of new life. Bless our families. Bring peace and harmony to the world and send your Holy Spirit upon us to renew the face of the earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, accept our offerings and bless our community. Give us the spirit of unity in Christ and strength to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Father, you art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that that you should should enter enter under under my roof. roof. But only Only say say the the word, word, and my my soul soul shall be healed. Let us now together recite the spiritual communion for those who are following us at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
for the final prayer and blessing on behalf of Father Andrew Kim and all the other priests and the staff of our parish, we wish all of you very blessings, good blessings and happiness in the new year. And we ask to pass these on to all of your families wherever they may be. We hope that one day we will be able to really celebrate the new year again as a family. Let us hope that we are coming to that point soon in this year. Uh, the communion service, as we remind people, will be on 8 o'clock, 10 and 12 on the actual 1st of February. And then there will also be mass again pre-taped for the 6th of February with communion on that same day at 8, 10, 12 noon in English and 5.30 p.m. That will be the schedule in the coming at least two weeks until we get a signal we can reopen the churches. Let us pray for that too. Thank you. Let us pray. All powerful and merciful God, through this sacrifice and communion, may we share in your life and deepen our faith so that we may become worthy witnesses and bring the light of truth and love to all of our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Every good gift comes from the Father of light. May he grant you his grace and every blessing and keep you safe throughout the coming year. Amen. Amen. May he grant you unwavering faith, constant hope, and love that endures to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your work in his peace. Hear your every prayer and lead you to everlasting life and joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And Gong Hei Fa Choi to everyone. Gong Hei Fa Choi to you too, Father. of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the world, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice on the earth, bring it to song and the deeds of the Lord. Come, <laughs> 